안녕하세요. 존쌤입니다. Hello, hello. It's getting cold outside, right? I just came in from outside. It's pretty cold. Ooh, 춥다. So, I have some winter idioms for you. 겨울 관양구. Are you ready? So, eight of them. First one is the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg, right? You know, the Titanic hit the iceberg and then sank, right? So the iceberg, just that little part that you can see. So this is hinting at a much larger and bigger problem, right? 90% of an iceberg is underwater. So what you see is just a suggestion of the whole thing. For example, 예를 들면, the news about that country's dishonest business dealings is just the tip of the iceberg. The news about that country's dishonest business dealings is just the tip of the iceberg. On thin ice. On thin ice. So this usually describes someone who is in a very risky situation, right? If you are constantly getting in trouble at work or school, you have to be careful what you do next because you're on thin ice, right? Right? 짧은 ice 얼음 있으면 If you walk on it, breaks and you fall in the icy cold water, right? So if you're on thin ice, 조심해라. You're on thin ice, right? For example, you have been warned. Watch what you say. You're on thin ice. You have been warned. Watch what you say. You're on thin ice, right? So maybe you have to be careful at work. <laughs> Next, we have the snowball effect. The snowball effect. So, similarly to when a snowball rolls down a hill, right? As the snowball rolls down the hill, it gets bigger and bigger, collecting more and more snow, right? So, this describes something that starts small, but gets bigger as time goes by. Starts small but gets bigger as time goes by. For example, 예를 들면, this investment, right, 투자할 때, right, this investment uses time to make money grow faster thanks to the snowball effect. This investment uses time to make money grow faster thanks to the snowball effect, right? So 투자하면, 기다리고, 점점 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 또 커지는 것 같아요, right? It gets bigger and bigger with the snowball effect. Next we have out cold. Out cold. So this is when a person is completely unconscious and not responding. So think like boxing KO, right? So boom. He's out cold. Knocked out. KO. Boom. Out cold, right? So you can use this in a cute way, though, when somebody is sleeping very deeply. So, for example, we took Tommy to the amusement park today, and now he's out cold sleeping in the car. We took Tommy to the amusement park today, and now he's out cold sleeping in the car. That's Kids are very beautiful when they're out cold. <laughs> sleeping <laughs> sleeping deeply and quietly, right? <laughs> Next we have a snowball's chance in hell. A snowball's chance in hell. So this describes something as having no chance at all. No chance. So if you imagine Sang Sang Hamyan, a snowball in a fiery hell, right? A fiery hell, right? Then the snowball shoo, quickly melts and is gone. No chance of lasting or surviving. So, for example, he doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of getting the job. He doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of getting the job. Right? Zero chance. Never gonna happen. Next we have as snug as a bug in a rug. As snug as a bug in a rug. This is to be very cozy and comfortable. So, think your carpet or your rug and there's a little bug in there, like, mm, so warm and cozy. 
During the winter, this is best done by wrapping up in a soft blanket and sitting by a fire or heater. So, for example, Sarah is as snug as a bug in a rug with her hot cocoa and her hoodie. Sarah is as snug as a bug in a rug with her hot cocoa and her hoodie. So you can use this at home with your family. Then we have the dead of winter. The dead of winter. So this is the coldest, darkest part of winter. The coldest, darkest part of winter, you can say the dead of winter. For example, it feels like the dead of winter out there. Let's stay inside today. It feels like the dead of winter out there. Let's stay inside today. So it feels like the coldest, darkest day of the winter. Maybe a good day to stay inside, right? <laughs> the Next we have black ice. Black ice. We say this a lot, okay? Uh, black ice is a very thin coating of ice, maybe on a puddle or found on roads or sidewalks, but it's like invisible. It's very, very hard to see. You know, usually don't see it, so you have to be very careful. It's super dangerous, right? Because you can't see the black ice, and when you, you're just walking on the sidewalk, and you step on it, and shoo, boom, right? And you slip, fall, and get hurt, so be, be careful of black ice. Be careful of that ice that you can't see on the sidewalk. Yitter the man, for example, Steve slipped on black ice yesterday and broke his wrist. Ouch. Steve slipped on black ice yesterday and broke his wrist. Ouch. Be careful of that black ice. There you go. That's eight winter idioms for you. I hope you stay healthy and warm this winter. God bless and see you next time. Bye.